Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and here we grow again with another show. During the show, for those of you who are new and those of you who are returning, I will be taking callers. If you would like to call in, you can call 845-277-9131. That's the way to call in to ask a question about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life, or to connect with a loved one on the other side. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. If you are watching live on YouTube, thank you. And you can ask a question in the chat. Um, Also, if there's any trolls in the chat, just report them and delete them. We don't, we don't like that here. So thank you. Um, and you can join the show live every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. Okay, that's what we have so far. Um, let's see. Uh, The first thing I want to say is I'll never reach out to you and ask you to, you know, do anything. So please don't get scammed. The next thing is uh, Rebecca, who is such a loyal part of this journey and this family is in the um, chat and her son is on a bus um, back from Mexico. And I believe I'm going to say on the Mexico side, they've been stopped by the cartel and their buses being held by them. So if everybody could just say a little prayer for the safety of everybody on that bus, that would be amazing. Everybody in the chat is already doing that. So the more people that can join in live, the better um, we are. Um, And Rebecca, I'm going to keep praying uh, for your son and everybody on that bus while we are doing the show. And I'm so sorry for that, Rebecca. I really, really am. Um, Okay, Uh, we're going to get right into the show. Okay, a couple quick announcements. I forgot that has shaken shaken me so much that I forgot everything I normally do in the show. I, you guys, I did three TikToks this afternoon, two clearings, one message. And then I did, um, you can get get to those TikToks and get those clearings. They're very good if I don't say so myself. And then they're about leveling up, except for the message from Molly or for Molly or ab- about Molly. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly, I didn't want to know during the message either. I was like... I don't want to know. Um, I'm going to be doing names. I'm going to be doing songs. The name can be your name, their name, a name of somebody or something that was important to either one of you. Uh, The songs, in case I don't say it during the, when I go to do the songs, can be a song they loved, you loved, a group they loved, you loved, or the answer to a question of something going on in your life right now. The song for Molly was, um, you know, whose who's bed have your boots been under? I don't want to read into that message, but hey, facts are facts. That is just, that's that. That was the message. She just like, I think whoever that was for, they just really, really liked that message. Um, okay. The next, that is not the songs though. We are going to go into songs. We are going to go into names. Before we do that, I'm going to let you know, I'm going to be in Daytona, Florida, February 2nd, doing a live event. Okay. Um, you can join in, you can get tickets. It's at the Cinematique and join in the fun. The link is in the description below. Okay, I'm going to go straight into names. And the first name that I'm getting is um, Miranda. The next name I'm getting is Liam. The next name I'm getting is um, 
Lamont, the next name I'm getting, uh, Gerard, Gerard, I said it, I, I'm sorry for the way I said it, it just keeps coming. I did not mean it like that at all, Gerard. The next name I am getting is Mariella. The next name I'm getting is Jose. The next name I'm getting is uh, Luke. The next name, I'm, there's a lot of men today, a lot of male names. The next name I'm getting is Ishma, Ishma. The next name I'm getting is Maria or Anna Maria. The next name, and those could be two separate names. So please know that it could be Maria or Anna Maria or Anna and then separately Maria. The next name I'm getting is Taylor. The next, and it, Taylor is so cute. Taylor is like this little I see Taylor in a crib or whoever this, there's a, a, big, a, like a little girl in a crib is what I'm seeing. Light hair, just totes dorbs, totally adorable. Um, the next name I'm getting is uh, Mishi. I'm not going to pronounce this correctly and I apologize. Mich Michiana or Michiana or Mikiana. However, that is supposed to be pronounced. I'm not sure, but I think whomever that is for gets the idea. Ambrosia is the next name. Uh, Lolita. Now, the last time I got a funny name, I started this whole skit. I'm not doing it this time. I'm not doing it this time. Um, okay, we're going to go straight into songs because now I'm hearing the songs. And again, remember... The first song is, ooh, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to say the name. I'm not even going to try to sing it because I just did. And I, I cracked my voice like a teenage boy going through puberty. Um, sexual healing is the song. <laughs> I tried to do the, ooh, baby, and no, baby, no, baby, no, baby, no, baby, no. <laughs> um, the next song I'm hearing, oh, there's Luciana is a name that is also coming through if I did not say that name before. Um, the next uh, the next song is, um, give me a second. They really want to stay on names. They really want to stay on names today. But I'm going to go to the songs. I, okay, so the, the next thing, I'm now I'm just, you know, if I get a song, I'm going to give a song. But if I see something, I'm going to say what I'm seeing because that's a message from the other side also. And the idea here is to get m as many messages from the other side at the beginning of the show for whomever is listening um, so that people who might be on TV or, or who might be watching on TV or listening on a podcast, but they're in other countries and there are a lot of listeners and watchers in other countries or just on different time zones that can't catch the show, they can also get confirmation for their loved ones. So the first thing I'm seeing is this a tattoo with blue in it. And again, it is a butterfly. But any butterfly tattoo, either they had it or you have it, um, then I am seeing uh, the song that's that hip hop, that hip hop, pot, hip hop. I can say the word. I can say it. <laughs> um, all I want is a hippopotamus for Christmas. I think that's the song. They're singing that song. If that's a song, I don't know. I had to sing the song to say the word, and I apologize. Um, and then uh, the next uh, song is Rocking in the USA. The next song is um, Love, Love Me Do. You Know I Love You. That song, something by Jerry Lee Lewis or anything by Jerry Lee Lewis. And then we have Nirvana again. Whoever the Nirvana fan is, hello, I hear you. And then the next song is, hello, da -na -na, let me, won't you tell me your name? Hello, something, 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 
Bought a game walking down the street. Okay, if somebody knows what that song is, based on my horrific performance, please put it in the chat. Hello, I love you. I, maybe it's hello, I love you, won't you tell me your name? Maybe that's the words. Okay, uh, the next song, uh, or okay, anything by the Beatles. Um, the next thing is um, mm, Woman. Won't you let me? I can't do that song today, folks. I, I can't. I, sorry. Uh, woman by, I think, I think it's Woman by John, John Lennon. I don't, I think that's the song. I know which one it is. He's, I can't. Okay, let's move on. Moving right along now. Um, another, we're going to do two more songs, guys. So bring them. Oh, okay. Slowly bring them. Who's, who's next? Who's next, guys? Who's next? Uh, Jonathan. The name Jonathan is coming through. The name Henry. The name Curtis. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. They said, no, we will not be ignored. No, you are going to say our name. Nope, you are going to listen. As soon as I gave like the two minute, let's wrap this up warning. They went ham on it. They're like, no. And all of a sudden, they went back to names. Okay, if you're not going to do our song, we're just going to throw our names right on out there. And they did. Okay. Um, Martiana. Martiana. I think Martiana is the name. And then... Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, this could be one name or two names, but the name is Jim Bob. Jim Bob. Jim Bob. <laughs> okay, I, I need to stop now because I'm just going to, somebody up there is going to not appreciate that and have a talking with me later. Okay. <laughs> Those are the names. Those are the songs so far. There will be more songs as I take callers and um, answer questions in the chat. I know I will get um, calls. I, I mean, I'm, I know I will get songs. Hey, Amy. Um, how are you? How are you? Hey, how are you? Um, I am going to uh, go back and forth between calls and questions in the chat and what I ask, when I call your area code, please give me your first name and the uh, where you're calling from. And then also, uh, please make sure you have a clear line um, so that everybody can hear the question clearly and there's not background noise going on. Just do the best you can. I know sometimes we can't control that. Um, I'm going to just go up here a little bit and see where I left off with calls. And if you guys, can you please do me a favor? If you do see someone trolling, they patrolling. If you see somebody making off comments in the chat, just feel free to do whatever you need to do to get rid of them. Um, this, this channel is all about helping people on their journey, love and light. Anybody that's not bringing that, they can take a time out until they can bring it. Okay. Okay. So everybody has been warned now. <laughs> so, um, SB, hi, please. Can I ask a question? Yes, SB, I will be taking questions in between, but I will try to get to everybody. Please don't be upset with me if I cannot get to everybody. If you would like to call in again, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to start with SB. What's next, what's next for Deskin and I? What are his thoughts of me? Um, SB, I'm actually going to Hey, Aaron, I'm going to scroll all the way down and SB, I would like you to tell me how long the two of you have been together. Um, because I know what I'm hearing. I would just like a little timeline on how long you two have been together, you and Duskin. 
I hope I'm saying everything correctly, and I apologize if I'm not. Um, and everybody, I'm going to, as soon as I start taking callers, I'm going to go as quickly as I can. Um, SB says, so I've known him since 2021. Have the two of you been in a relationship since 2021? And no contact now. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, SB, what I'm going to say to you is... Um, Okay, so what I'm getting here and what I'm going to tell you might not be the answer you want, but it's the answer you need. Sometimes uh, people will be taken out of our life so that somebody else can come in. Sometimes somebody is preventing us from moving forward. And what I'm getting is you're about to be blessed with a whole new person in your life that is coming forward and you're if you allow this, you're energetically going to be moved up incrementally. So sometimes we get people in our life and it just takes us in a whole new direction, a whole new, uh, I don't want to say, it's, it's not like a whole new way of being maybe is a good way to say it, SB. Uh, and, and this is going to be something that's going to be very positive for you. Okay, so SB says, but I tried to get over him and I can't. My mind is set on him. Uh, and you've tried. Okay, so I'm going to do a clearing for you, for everybody listening, for everybody um, watching. If you've tried to get over somebody um, and you can't, I get that. Uh, we're going to clear that now. We're going to take all their energy from you and pull all your energy back. And then we're going to disconnect any connections between you and break any tithings, bonds, whatever we want to call them. All contracts between them are done. All your contracts have been completed. There's no contract left to complete here. So you're free to go. I know it's easier said than done. Um, SB, I really do understand it's much easier said than done. Um, but knowing that you've learned everything you're supposed to learn from this person, and if you go back, it's just going to be a repeat of the past. Um, you just have to, every time you think of him, you have to, or this person, you just have to say it's over. Um, there is somebody coming in. You have, you, once you can let all this go, just clear that. Once you can let this go, and I know what when I say let, what I mean is once this is completely disconnected, um, you'll be able to be completely on a new um, path. Okay, um, you already have somebody new. Oh, sweetie, you got it bad. Um, and par part of this, okay, so SB is thinking, let's clear that. Let's pull his energy all the way away from her. You know, this actually makes my head physically hurt here and here. So there is something about... Here's what I'm going to say about this. There is something about this where let's just pull and clear all of it. I don't want to go too much into it on the show because that's just, it's, it's just too much for some people. So we're just going to pull this out. We're going to release you from this so you can be free to move forward. Okay. And SB, I hope that was helpful. I really do. I'm so sorry uh, for what you're going through. I really, really am. Erin, you're going to be the next online question, but I'm going to go to a call-in question, which is 860. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm calling from Connecticut. 06111. <laughs> Excellent. And how can I help you, love? 
I was hoping for a message from my parents, Bob or Joanne, either one. Okay. That's, I, you know what's crazy? This okay, isn't yeah. crazy, but I had a Aunt Joanne and an Uncle Bob and and they were actually they were actually a couple and they um but that's not I'm going to go to your Bob and Joanne now. Okay. Um <laughs> the first thing I'm getting Okay, the first thing I'm getting is, um, and I'm going to not say one of them is speaking over the other one because they both have the same message for you. It's time for you to live your life and enjoy yourself. Um, do what you, uh, there's your, do what you want, say what you say, one thing leads to another. I know I, as that song is coming in, which, which again, do what you want, live your life now. Make your make your path yours. Open up the road and run with it. Um, don't let anything hold you back. Life is shorter than you think, and you're going to have epiphanies all through the month of February and March, like light bulb moments, ideas. Write them down as soon as you get them. <laughs> as I'm saying that, um, Things are crackling in my house like it's crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're going to have epiphanies through the month of February and March and write them down because as soon as they come, they will go. So make sure you use your voice record on your phone or have a pen and paper with you at all time and just make sure you're jotting them down. A couple of them will be creative ideas for businesses uh, or products. A couple of them will be for directions you can take with your life or for people in your life. But whatever comes through, make sure that you are writing them down. Now, the rest of the month, January, is going to be a little bit feel. As you go through it, it's going to feel feel slow, but then when you reach the end, you're going to say, oh my gosh, I can't believe January is gone. Then February and March are going to fly by. So make sure you're really cultivating everything you want for this, this next uh, time frame coming up for you. You're about to enter into something that is going to be quite spectacular for you. Uh, they're not going to tell me what it is because it's on the horizon, not even, is it the distant? No. It's on the horizon. It's not as far away as you think it is, but it's coming in quickly. Um, I do feel like there's going to be some baby news. Uh, this could now. When I say this, it doesn't mean you specifically. I'm not saying it couldn't be you. It could be somebody else in the family who you're going to hear some because I'm seeing a baby. I'm seeing like a baby, and I think. I don't want to predict I it, the way this baby looks is it's a baby girl. It's a girl. Um, <laughs> it's in pink. It's a girl. <laughs> uh, they're holding it and it's, it's, it's seemingly close. Um, this baby's about to, we're about to find out about this. Okay. Um, so they want you to know everything is going the way it's supposed to and they love you and they're watching out for you and be careful driving. Oh, and those are the messages that they have for you, my love. Those are your messages. I hope that they were good. Do they make sense to you? Yeah, I wish they'd give me a hint about the good because I need some good right now. It's sweet, girl. It is coming in, and it will be here before you know it. Um, you're going to have some really beautiful in in February and March. You're going to get some really good things that you're going to hear about. Okay, sweetie. Okay, thank you for that. You are so welcome. And try to re try to remember your dreams because they are hanging out with you in your dreams. Sometimes in the we don't always remember our dreams um, because we go pretty deep and we're hanging out with them in their dream in our dreams. I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, when I like a lot of people dream about 
their loved ones on the other side. And while they're dreaming about them, they have the understanding that their loved ones are on the other side. Like they'll tell me, and I, I dreamt about my, my mom or my uncle or whom my wife. And I knew, you know, they were on the other side and I was trying to talk to them and I couldn't talk to them. I'm going to, when I dream about people on the other side, I don't get that. What happens is we're living on the other side. Like I am there with them. <laughs> like we're doing things and we're dancing and we're just celebrating. Like whenever I dream of Max and Bella, who were my, my puppies, um, my, um, I always say my babies, but my, my puppies, um, I don't, in my dreams, I'm not aware that they have passed. It's just like we're all alive and living together, but they don't look like Max and Bella in my dreams either, which I don't like. But I know why they do that, so it's not too hard on me. And I dream a lot about my mom, but I dream like we're there just having the greatest time, like it's really happening in real life now. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I wish I would have. There's so many questions, you know, there's so I would have been. But I guess in my dream state, they just want me to be chillaxed with them. Just relax. Just relax is how they want me to be. Okay, the next question is coming from YouTube chat from Erin. Do you see me getting a new job or should I? stay at my current job. Erin, the first thing that I'm getting is there is something new coming in. You're going to have to look for it. You're going to have to find it. It is outside of your company. It's not a move within your company. It's a move outside of your company. And I feel like this has the potential to come in in six months. Um, I know that's a bit down the road, but that gives you some time to perfect your resume and your everything else and decide if this is something you really if you really want to move on or if you want to stay there okay i do feel like if you move on you'll be very happy um and you'll you'll really enjoy the new position that you get okay so uh please please know that um but if you stay where you are, you'll be okay. There's there's not a wrong answer for you. You're in a very, very lucky position, Erin. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, hey, Mystic Raven, how are you? Joy, how are you? I'm going to go to the next. Oh, there's two. There's two 860s. I'm going to go to the next 860. 860, what's your name? Hi. Hi. Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? I'm good, Amla. What's going on? <laughs> I just have a really quick question, so I'll get right to it. Um, I just actually reached out to somebody 15 years ago, and and it's it's a long story. I'm not going to get into that, but do you feel like um, him and I are going to just rekindle our friendship? Just um, Are we starting all over again? What do you feel? Anything? I feel like if you guys, if if the two of you do connect, um, you know, I I feel very much like there's a lot going on in this person's energy. Like it's very frantic. It's very chaotic. There, there's a lot of distractions. Okay. I feel like there are things going on with like even just tapping into this energy. It's just very... There's just so much going on. I can't even see it all. I feel like there's some things that have um, that you don't know about with this person right now, and it might not be completely appropriate for you to. I don't want to use the word appropriate, but I just feel like there's a lot going on in this person's uh, life that you might not know about. And it's a lot of distractions and there is some chaos going on in this person's life. Uh, pick the, the statement I hear with this Amla is actually uh, pick your battles and then don't. Like know that this might be a bit of a challenge and then don't take it. You don't have to. Uh, if you feel up 
right. up right. to dealing with this, that's great. But so can we can we be um, can we be casual friends? Like, it's, it can it can it be that? Um, would that? I mean, I know like the skies. We're manifestors, right? It's we create this, but just could it be something like that, or just I'll know when it's time to just move on or whatever. You can do, you know, I always say I'm not the boss of anyone. Um, I'm really right. not. And anybody can do what they want. All I'm doing is um, letting you know what what they're saying so that you're prepared going into this and you have an understanding going into this what it is. I do feel like this person might have a little bit of difficulty I'm going to say with honesty, because I do believe when somebody withholds things, that's a form of lying. If they know that telling you something would change the dynamic of the relationship and they're not telling it to you, that is definitely a form of lying to me um, because they're not being honest and upfront with you. I do believe there are some things that this person is not going to tell you uh, that you should know right away. But I do believe if you try to, you can go, go, sure, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that there for you, Amla. Thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate that. Mm, Mystic Raven. Blessings back to you. Hey, Joy, how are you? Elizabeth, I've been having abdominal, abdominal stomach pains. I have some appointments coming up to try and find the cause. Are you able to pick up on the cause, on any cause? Okay, I cannot um, do any medical or health readings any longer on YouTube because of their new guidelines. Go to the doctor, find out what they have to say. Um, that's all I'm allowed to say on YouTube. And I'm really sorry, um, Elizabeth. I wish I could say more, but I can't. Um, so uh, so I'm, I, I hope that that is, is, I always believe that if you do have something going on, um, Um, yeah, I, you know what I would, yeah, just get it checked just to be safe. And then after you get it checked, maybe schedule something and we can discuss the options for that. Okay. So uh, I'll do a little clearing on my end for that and we'll go from there. Okay. Thank you so much for asking that question. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 954954. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Mary. I'm calling from Florida. And I would like to see if there's any message coming through from um, my mother or my aunt, either one, um, regarding my present situation, things I'm going through right now. Okay, I'm sorry. So, so your mother or your aunt regarding your cousin's situation? No, my own situation. Yours. I'm, so I'm going through. Okay, Mary. Areas right now. Mary, what's your mom? Causing me a lot of stress. So, I just wondered if they had any messages coming in for me. Absolutely. What's your mom's name, love? Alice. Alice, and your aunt's name. Uh, nor Noreen. Okay. And instantly, I don't know if this has to do with you, Mary, but I hear the name Beatrice coming through also. But it's okay if that doesn't have to do with you. If I hear it, I say it. So the first thing I that they want to say... There's someone in the family line named Beatrice, yes. Okay. Thank you for confirming that. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, well, apparently Beatrice is here also. So the first thing that they want to say is um, your finances are going to get better. So if this is 
Okay. If that's one of the things that you are concerned about, they are going to get better. You're going to, it's almost like either there's going to be a new source for some financial things or, or whatever financial situation, however you get your money, it might be a little bit more or there's going to be a second source. Now, I never tell anybody to break the law per se. <laughs> I am not instructing oh, not one person to break the law. However, if you know, if you're, let's say, on some kind of income where you cannot supplement that income with a job or a check or anything like that, I always say if people in the neighborhood need somebody to take them for groceries or whatever else it is, um, it's okay to start that little car service thing for cash and cash only. I mean, I'm, I'm, just, the, one, I'm the one who's needing that. I need to say it. Okay. So I then, reverse. I'm the one needing that. Then what? Right now. I that's, would be if I could, but that's why that's it's the reverse. I feel like there's somebody in your neighborhood or somebody that you know of that's going to pull through for you and help you out in some way. This is not the people or person that you expect it to be. This is somebody completely different. I do feel like also, again, there's going to be a little bump in your in like in your incoming money. However, that oh. is coming in. Now this, I'm going to say this again, if you can crochet pot holders, if you can do this, if you, whatever it is for you, and maybe it's none of those things. Maybe you just get a little bump, like um, some sort of bump in a, whatever it is. I don't know, but I feel like it is coming in and it's coming in between one month and two months. So, I'm going to say mid-February to mid-March, you should <clears throat> hear about or understand that there's a little extra coming in in some way, okay? I don't know what way that is, but it will be coming in. And I do feel like when this comes in, it'll be like just you're going to go oh my gosh this is just what i needed this is just enough whatever it is okay i do feel like that is yeah cuz my rent up. my rent just went up and other bills so that's good data yeah you know what everybody i have these it is it is almost unbelievable the jumps they are making in rent now. It is unbelievable yes. the amount. Yes. It, it it's it's craziness. So what I would do? Do you live in an apartment or? Uh... They're doing some remodeling at this time. I'm going remodeling, which I'm glad for, but it's quite disruptive. Okay. But I'm I'm glad they're doing it. It's necessary. Okay, what I'm going to say is I feel like, and especially since you're in Florida, love, I, I'm just going to put this out here. However you get to it or whenever it comes about for you, I feel like, and I, I'm just going to say it the way I'm hearing it, and even if this is not going on right now, please keep an open mind for the near future, okay? I do feel like there is the opportunity. This doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's an opportunity. There's an opportunity for you to have housing that is regulated, like a senior complex that doesn't raise the rent, but if they want to raise the rent, they go to the government and get the extra rent, not to you. But it's more... Right. I have been applying for that unsuccessfully for several years okay. and have gotten nowhere. So that would be encouraging. Well, I have been trying to do that. 
there are some people where I live who already get that. Okay, I do feel like if you go directly maybe to the people where you live or to an organization, they may be able to help you fill out that paperwork. I do feel like... I, I know how to do it because I have been doing it right along. Yeah, but sometimes, sweetie, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that for a second. Don't hang up, love. Just hear my words, please. Sometimes when you go through an organization, it's taken a little bit more seriously than when the person sends it in. Um, organizations respond to organizations. And if you go to your management company or your landlord and you ask them, they'll happily have another person on that list and put in for it. Sometimes, not every time, but sometimes because they know that's guaranteed money and they can charge even more in those circumstances. I know you're a little frustrated and you've been going through the process for more than a minute now, but we're asking you to don't let what happened in the past be an indicator of what can happen in the future. Um, everybody gets their turn and I do feel like your turn is coming in. So if you, whether you go straight through to the organization and, and get your booty, get your little fruity tooty booty in a chair in front of somebody who helps you fill out the paperwork, or you go directly to your management, whatever it is, work with either, both, all of them, go with an organization. And if now let me add this, my love. If this means you have to change buildings or management companies into some place where this is already set and you get to move in and have this, move, go, go. New beginnings are beautiful. New beginnings are always super duper beautiful. Okay, love? Okay, I am going to go to the next um, question in the chat. And oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Lisa from Florida. Thank you so much for calling in. I do hope that was helpful. Your mom and um, Beatrice and they all want to say they love you and they are working for you and they they will be around you very heavily, especially Beatrice. They will be around you very heavily over the next three months. I mean, it's they're not going to go any place after that, but over the next three months, they are going to be like stuck like glue to you okay um they're just they're saying just try to get rid of us just try okay i'm gonna go to the next question um oh i am going to go to joy if you have time i i do joy i do have time i wanted to ask about employment i'm looking for new employment that pays more than more than enough. Oh, I feel your baby girl. Okay, Joy. Um, February, there's something coming in. It, uh, tail, tail near the end or the tail end of February, but keep looking from now until then. Because sometimes that means at, at the end of February is when you get it or you find it. So keep looking between now and then. It is something... I, I hear the word manufacturing. That doesn't mean you're going to be doing like manufacturing companies need all of the positions also. So whatever that means, I just hear manufacturing. And then Joy, uh, so that's at the tail end of or near the end of February. And then in June, Joy, I hear there's going to be the opportunity again you don't have to do it, but if you want to, you'll be able to, to pick up a side hustle. And I hear that song, do, 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 do the hustle. Um, so they're saying, do the hustle. <laughs> if you can. It's a, it took such a long second for that to connect for me. Do the hustle. So when this side hustle comes in, do the, not do the literal hustle, but 
take the job, take the job, Jesus. God, I am, I am, oh, I'm such a dork. Okay. Uh, no wonder people don't under, like it's, it's uh, Jesus. Okay. So Joy, in June, when this opportunity comes in, definitely accept the opportunity. Um, of course, I'm not the boss of you. You get to make your choices, what you want to do, how you want to do it. And my ear is ringing so loud. It's literally um, on this. So please make sure that you are keeping your eyes and ears open. If somebody comes to you with something, you hear about something, or you're perusing through again, and you see something that would be a nice side um very part-time show up, do what you need to do, walk out with cash thing. You seriously look at it. Okay, Joy, that's what I have for you. Oh, I hope that's helpful. I hope that's a good answer for you. Everybody in the chat, please hold on. I'm going to get to as many people as I can. Oh, I just looked at the time. Uh, please don't forget in... um. February, I am going to be in Florida, um, in Daytona, doing a live event. I'm going to go to 111. 111, what's your name and where are you calling from? 111 in three, two, one, and that's it. Okay, six, um, I'm going to go next to 646. I'll go back to you, 111. But 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Teresa. How are you? I'm good, Teresa. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I just want to ask you a question. I'm going to make it short. So, um, I, me and my landlord, we go back to court. We were, He never showed up, but we go to court tomorrow for harassment. I'm suing them, okay, um, for trying to take the drawers off the hinges. So I'm going to be, I'm going to sue him. However, um, I had to call the police on him uh, one night. Um, one, you know, one, I think uh, about two weeks ago, I called the police. He was going to get arrested because he tried to deprive me of electricity, which you cannot do in, in New York. So um, he admitted to the police that he cut the cord to the electricity that, you know, gives me light. He told the police that he was going to go in the house and that he'd be right back, but he never came back out. So... They were going to arrest him because, you know, this is starting to get a little bad. So um, the information, I have the police report, the information is in the system. They told me that possibly he may get um, arrested uh, at court. So I might just check in to see, do you think that would happen, that he may get arrested? Um. Or they may just have me vacate and leave. You know, once everything is settled in court, because I believe the judge is on my side, because being that the place is illegal, you know, they they told me that I can get compensated because he took, you know, he took the drawers, the door off the hinges, you know, to try to force me to move out. Okay, so Teresa, this is what I'm getting, um, and I I'm going to say this in the best possible way if you're not trying to get out of this place get out of it this guy is like, he is very I'm, I'm hearing that song unsteady uh which means unstable okay. this guy is very unstable and you yeah. don't want somebody who's unstable and has access to your living situation mm -hmm. be, being, well, first of all, we don't want somebody who has access to our living situation to be unstable. And, and this guy, clearly he is, he's not above 
doing things that are not legal. So what I I would say to you is for your own sanity, safety, and everything else involved here, find find a new place to live. And that's the message you're getting. What happens to this guy? Listen, I, I'm going to say this. I never wish anything bad on other people because whatever energy you put out there is what comes back to you. So no matter what kind of shenanigans or unstable hoopty poopty people try to put, I just say, God bless them. Keep them away from me, but bless them. And okay. so what I would say to you is the message is not about your landlord per se, but the message is about your safety and your sanity. Yeah. And you're okay. being able to be in a space where you don't have to worry about hoopty poopty shenanigans and get out. Like the biggest message they're giving okay. me to give you is give out. Now, one thing I do know about the court system and landlords and when they break the law, that if you are going to court with this landlord and they have broken the law, judges, especially if it's a tenant, friend, I, I have to say this slowly because um, I don't want to mix my words up. But if it's a tenant-friendly state, meaning the courts tend to favor the tenants, and New York is one of them, Wisconsin's another one, um, you can, especially once you're out, I would pursue this when you have a place and you're moving out, you may be able to get some... Uh, financial gratification from the harassment and everything that he has put you through. But until then, until then, keep everything as copacetic and as calm as possible and get out of this person's okay. property just for your own safety. Because at this point, he's doing things that are visible to you. We don't want him to start doing things that are like unknown to you, okay? I've, I've told people uh -huh. a couple of stories about a previous tenant I had that used to like to take the oxy and, and uh, make it into powder and, you know, it. And we all know why I did that that way because of guidelines. Um, and she she wanted me to evict her, gave her notes to evict her. And I'm like, I, I can't evict you. You're you're up to date on your rent. But she was trying to run a scam with, with some rental assistance thing. And she kept upping the ante to get me to evict her. And at one point she took cheese and um, mouse poison and threw it in the, the yard for my dogs to eat. <laughs> um, and and thank goodness I found it and my dogs. So don't, if you have somebody who is unstable, get the hoochie coochie poochie uh, yeah, out of there okay. as quickly as you can because you do not know once somebody reaches a certain point of la cuca la rue, what their next step will be. And if this guy feels like okay. he's already might end up going to jail because of this, what the fudge does he have to lose? So just start getting your poop in a group and getting it out of there. Find a new place with better energy and a better landlord. And don't allow yourself to be in a situation where there are people that do not want you, my love. Okay, love? Okay, yes, exactly. Okay, thank that you so is. much. Go to court. And then, okay, and tonight, tonight, when the show is over, get online and find a new place to live. That's all I can say. I, I, yeah. okay. I'm looking with a uh, realtor. So we, we, we already, we're looking, but we haven't found anything a place in New Jersey where I wanted to go, but we are looking. She, you know what? Me. You might want to expand your search because you want to be, you want to be safe. So don't be, you know, sometimes you just have to 
to make that your priority, sweetie. I do hope this was helpful, and I do hope that you um, do heed those warnings that you're receiving and allow yourself to move in a very quick and safe way to some place that's much, much better for you, my love. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go. There are so many people online. Um, oh my goodness. I just missed all the questions. Um, I have like a couple minutes. I have five minutes left, everybody. Um, A27, I think that's just what I'm going to use. Thank you for your question. A2715MT, just wanted to know if this neighbor really want to buy my dad apartment or just cheat my dad so that he could rent out the apartment or use it behind the door. Thanks a lot. Okay, Julie, I think what you're asking is, is your neighbor sincere in buying this apartment for his personal use? No. For somebody else to use? Yes. If that's your question, there's your answer. This person doesn't plan on um, buying it for themselves. They plan on buying it and letting somebody else be there. I I hear the word. Um, I hear that song. Na, na notorious noto i can't sleep na, na. whatever that is that's what i'm getting on that and i feel like you have to um and they are going to try to undercut it um they're going to try to undercut they think if they get in first and they try to be friendly that they're going to get the best deal just Tell them when you get, do this, say to the neighbor, yes, as soon as we get a realtor, we will let you know and you can talk to the realtor about everything and you'll, you'll see the change in them. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Hope you, oh, thank you so much, Patrick. You're so kind. Um, okay, let's see. Cece, hey, Cece, how are you? Will I get married to someone I currently know? Is Cece going to marry somebody she currently knows? Hmm. You could, but they're saying no. There's somebody else coming in that's going to be a much better fit for you, Cece. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, hey, Christina, Rebecca. Um, thank you so much, Rebecca. Uh, okay. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. If you would like a private session, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Um, there I can answer questions about anything, including health-related matters and what's the best course for you to take with those issues. Um, I will be back Monday at noon central, if I did not get to answer your question, um, your call or your question in the chat, please uh, know that I will be back Monday and you can uh, call in and I will definitely 90 seconds. do my best to get to you on Monday. Thank you so much. Um, Ah, uh, let me, uh, there's, a, I'm looking at the chat and there's so many questions coming in and I'm like a little, little, I can't think. Okay. Monday at noon or next Wednesday at seven, I might do a pop-up show this weekend just to, um, to do it because there's a new moon. So I might do a pop-up show with a new moon meditation because it's going to be a great, um, uh, a first new moon of the new year in 2024. And it's supposed to be really good for manifesting. So we might do that this weekend. Thank you so much, everybody.